This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Matson. In the eerie twilight of the far north, bone-cracking cold spawns groaning fields of ice and obscures the closely guarded secrets of a titan. They can weigh well over a thousand pounds and measure almost 10 feet in length. The polar bear is truly gigantic. But the tide of history may be turning against this fierce hunter. High levels of PCBs and other pollutants have dramatically affected the polar bear's ability to reproduce. As the ice cover in the frozen north continues to shrink, the amount of territory available to these bears and the amount of time that they have to hunt on the ice pack also decreases. In the Arctic, extreme cold breeds extreme hunger. The walrus, with its tusks and whiskers, is instantly recognizable and can outweigh the polar bear by more than a thousand pounds. Bulky and often bad-tempered, they look invulnerable. And to take on a herd of these giants requires ingenuity. By the end of summer, the Arctic sea ice has retreated, leaving the walrus herd to search for a safe haven on land. An enormous dominant male makes a fateful decision, ponderously hauling out onto the sea slick rocks. The rest will follow. But death is up and about. This polar bear's extraordinary cunning is about to be made clear. His target lies sprawled in the sun. For now, the bear will stick to the shadows. He begins his descent from high up on the rocks, at first moving away from his prey. He has chosen a difficult and precarious route but the bear is careful and deliberate. Had he attacked from above, he would have plunged headlong into big, strong males at the center of the pack and driven easier targets directly into the sea. but an amphibious assault may confuse them, leaving the most vulnerable open to attack. The bear is taking an enormous risk. Walruses are big and dangerously powerful. But on the polar bear side, is the element of surprise. He approaches from downwind, barely visible against the water. An avalanche of stabbing hawks nearly drives him back into the sea. But he spotted his quarry. The mother struggles mightily to her calf's defense. Yet there's nothing she can do to save the young walrus. Panic ripples through the herd, sending mothers and calves tumbling into the sea. The herd watches from the water, safe in the knowledge that the bear will not attack them here. Then within minutes, panic turns to indifference. The males resume basking, just a few yards from the bear the loss of a young life, forgotten. Perhaps the bear has hunted this way before, year after year, refining an audacious technique. Or maybe 
It was just a clever predator's inspired moment. In the end, this giant male took on an entire walrus herd and came away with a hard-won meal that will help him survive another winter. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium. Additional support provided by Lindblad Expeditions, celebrating five decades of exploration to the wildest places on Earth.